Hello everyone, this is T.S. Goswami. Welcome to the Fiori Introduction Session. So let's start. First of all, I wanted to bring some examples that we are using in our day to day life. We are using different apps like from Facebook, Twitter to Flipkart or Amazon. We can just go into the Amazon app and select the desired product with proper quantity and shipping detail to place the order. It's just that simple. At the same time, if the same person wanted to place a sales order or purchase order for their organization where he works, he need to go into the hard code, complex T code and need to fill up all the minimum required input field to make the transaction successful. Although maximum time it happens that the user has to come across a lot of irrelevant screens or fields. To come up from this complex user experience, SAP decided to work on the user experience improvement section and launched SAP Fury around mid of 2013. Although Hasso Plattner foresee the same thing around 20 years back. Now we will go into some more details of SAP Fury. Like you can ask what is it? What is SAP Fury? The easiest way to explain is with three dimensions of it. One is concept dimension, second one is design dimension and third one is technology dimension. In the concept dimension, the total theory concept is based on five basic things. Like it is role based, it's simple, it's too much coherent, it's responsive and it's delightful. We'll go each and every part of it in some of our later slide. In our design dimension you can find all the design dimension thing in the mentioned link. It is must required to go through the details like fury principle, navigations, animations, color, icons that need to be used for fury application development. In the technology dimension <coughs> it is a very very important dimension as all of us we are working in the in this particular section to go into more specific of technology dimension we have to mention that there are different layers that consist of different technologies from bottom to up that would be like database layer sap business suite layer that is ecc native layer and front end layer and the technology and tools that are being used across different layers are like hana ODATA, SAP UI5, which is nothing but consists of HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, etc. So, by now you can have a brief overview, you have, you have the basic idea of Fury. So, let's move into some of the discussion, like, let's move into discussion of skills, what are the skills required to build Fury application. As I have already told you, we are basically dealing with three different layers. One is business suite layer, one is gateway layer and one is UI layer. In the business suite layer, we need above engineers and the business suite consultants. The, the, those are functional consultants. In the gateway layer, we need above engineers, business suite consultants and gateway engineers. Here gateway engineers are nothing but the advanced ABAP engineers who can work on work more on object oriented ABAP. In the UI layer, we need SAP UI consultant developers who has knowledge on SAP already provided UI library and HTML and JavaScript developers. Now we will dive into architectural overview of SAP Fury. Here in this picture you can feel the Fury existence where it is highlighted with yellow in different layers. I am iterating the same thing here as well that it is now 3 to 4 layer after Fury comes into picture. First the request come from the UI layer to the native gateway layer through ODATA and HTTPS protocol. We will go into detail regarding ODATA and HTTP protocol in our subsequent sections. After getting the request from UI layer, native gateway process it to our SAP business suite layer. 
so you can understand nativeer is working as a mediator between ecc and user interface ui this communications happen in term of trusted rfc in sap business suite data process after accessing data from different database or something specifically from hana database and after the data processing the response also goes with the same direction where from the request came <coughs> so there are two different option to deploy native over gateway one is embedded option and another one is central hub option you can see the image explained clearly here in the embedded deployment option the native over gateway is tightly integrated with back end ecc that's that is sap business suite in this option we will not have any separate server or separate layer in the central hub deployment the network gateway over gateway is separately integrated as a separate entity the key benefit of this particular uh, central hub option is it will have more maintainable and more upgradable quality but obviously the central hub deployment option is more costly <coughs> rather than the embedded deployment option so as obvious way big level organizations goes for the central hub central hub deployment whereas mid or small scale players goes for embedded option <coughs> let's go into the fury history SAP launched Fiori around mid of 2013. At that time, there was only 25 applications, and that was also launched for SAP's internal system to get the response as a pilot deployment. You can say SAP is developing day by day, and <coughs> as of today, if you can go and check. in google with the keyword sap app library you will find around 885 applications that sap has already launched and constantly the number is increasing that means uh that means the, the main sap vision is to convert all the complex t code based gui applications to simple and delightful web applications so if you want i can check it here in google itself this is the app right here this is the first link from where you can check it all the different applications that sap has already launched apps I'm going to all application options Just give me some time it is because it is loading all the it and the t5 application details here so here you can see <coughs> total application number are 885 <coughs> you can search each and every application detail from here like my leave request here you can see all the details the product feature implementation information lot so we will go into much detail about all this section installation configuration extensibility and support as of now let's continue with our introduction session of sap tier <coughs> so 
you can also get the fury look and feel uh, for that you just have to download the SAP fury client from your application apple store or google play store or microsoft app store after downloading the fury client you will find two options like the first option is to get into the real time fury system and the second option is to get the demo application like every application gives the option to educate the basic things about the application to the general users so as you don't have the real time fury system credentials with you you can always go for the demo application link and you can check what are the basic things what are the look how it looks and all that or other way you can go into uh, google from your desktop as well and search for fury demo systems uh, here there uh, you will find the first link that will give uh, you to look into the look and feel option uh, which uh, you can find it in in mobile application as well so have fun now SAP Fury is standing on five basic principles that is it is absolutely rule based designed for you for your need and how you work it has unmatched responsive power using HANA database it is very simple it's very much coherent that is why I have mentioned in my first slide that you have to must go through the link www experience.com experience.sap.com slash fury design in this sap has clearly mentioned the design principles that should be followed across all the existing sap fury applications and any future created applications so that users will have on fluid intuitive experience and the last one is it's delightful how i can explain yeah you will love it and never go into the hardcore GUI decode based applications after experiencing the same applications in fury so that is all for today see you in next more interesting sessions of fury till then bye thank you